Hello, Bristol Township School District. This is a special report from Armstrong News Network. Dear students, parents, and guardians, if you have not already heard, Governor Wolf has extended his order to close all Pennsylvania schools until further notice due to the concerns regarding the continued spread of the coronavirus. Bristol Township School District's closure will now extend at least until the statewide closure expires. Also, as the stay-at-home order continues for Bucks County, all BTSD facilities, including district buildings and athletic fields, will remain closed until further notice. The BTSD Food Service Department has been very busy preparing and distributing grab-and-go breakfast and lunch bags to ensure all children ages 18 years old and younger have access to healthy food during the closure. The district has expanded locations and meals can now be picked up at Truman High School, FDR Middle School, Keystone and Brookwood Elementary Schools. No application is necessary, but children must be present to receive these meals. Continuity of education is a continuation of teaching and learning in the event of a prolonged school closure. Our district remains committed to ensure the success of each of our students. Our online learning plan will become effective on April 14th and will remain in effect for the duration of the mandated school closure. The administration has held meetings and determined to set the date for the end of the third market period as Friday, March 13th. Only items assigned on or prior to Friday, March 13th will be included in the third market period grade. Any student in grades 6 through 12 that has any work that was missing from that time period will communicate with their teacher and submit work for consideration for the third marking period. Teachers will finalize all third marking period grades by the end of the day, Wednesday, April 8th. Grades will be live in the parent portal by April 17th. We want to encourage all parents to become familiar with the learning expectations and opportunities for their children. We hope that all parents are able to help their children develop an at-home schedule for learning where they can have parental support if needed, as well as a learning space that is free from distraction. We realize that we are asking parents to take on new roles and engage with their children differently, and we are grateful for their dedication. If teachers see that any student is not participating in the learning experiences, the schools will reach out to the student and family to see how we can provide support. If families are having trouble of any sort, they should reach out to their principals who are monitoring phones and emails, as well as providing support to classroom teachers. Over the past few weeks, devices were deployed to students in our secondary schools. Every student at Truman, Armstrong, and FDR needing a device should have one by April 9th. If you do not have a device, please contact the principal for direction of obtaining one. The image shows the organization and cleaning of the devices. All devices are being taken from classrooms and carts, cleaned and placed in a case prior to distribution. At the elementary level, we will begin rolling out devices starting with our fifth grade at Brookwood, Keystone, and Mill Creek. As Chromebooks are distributed to a grade, we will move to the next. As each grade is completed, we will begin online instruction and move away from the packets. At this time, BTSD's education plan is one of enrichment and review at the elementary level. The district has distributed packets to our elementary students, which contain both math and ELI content at Brookwood Elementary, Keystone Elementary, and Truman High School. The math and ELI skills contained in these packets are based on content the students study throughout the year up until the school closure in March. These packets can also be accessed online at our district website and your local elementary school's website. Again, as each grade level de receives devices, we will move away from the packets and begin online instruction. Another window for distribution will occur after spring break and at the same locations. Information will be sent out when packets are ready. The district will hold its spring break in accordance with the approved current year school calendar which calls for vacation days on Friday, April 10th, and Monday, April 13th. An online learning plan will become effective on Tuesday, April 14th, at the secondary level, and then sometime thereafter, at the elementary level. It will remain in effect for the duration of the period of mandated school closure. We strongly encourage your students to be actively engaged and check their Google Classrooms regularly. We recognize that each family has a different set of circumstances and do not want to overwhelm or cause additional anxiety or stress. 
We are partners in this online learning adventure and we want to assure you that we are going to take cautious steps in this process. All activities scheduled for the remainder of the school year have been canceled. Information regarding graduation will be sent out at a later date. Each principal will communicate with you directly on schedules, expectations, and plan activities. We fully understand that there will be several questions that remain. We have received guidance from the Pennsylvania Department of Education on graduation and are reviewing the guidance and district policies. More information will be shared soon regarding this guidance and how it relates to our district. We are still waiting for registration guidance from the Pennsylvania Department of Education. We are working on answering everyone's questions as quickly as possible as we work through establishing new expectations through this challenging situation. We appreciate your patience and understanding. School board meeting will still be held on April 14th as scheduled. The board meeting will be online with information being posted on the website. Please visit bristoltwpsd.org and go to the school board section of the webpage for more information. Attention all students, do you like to draw? NOVA, the network of victims assistance, is currently holding an internet safety poster contest for all students in grades K through 12. They are currently looking for new designs that incorporate the rules of internet safety into their design. Winners will be chosen from each of the following grade levels. Students in kindergarten through third grade can compete to win a $50 art supply basket. Students in grades four through seven have the chance to win a $50 Target gift card, and students in grades eight through 12 can win a $50 Apple iTunes gift card. All entries must be submitted electronically along with the NOVA contest entry submission form by Friday, April 17th. Good luck! The inaugural Bucks County Short Fiction Contest for high school students invites entries from students who are residents of Bucks County, PA, and who are enrolled in high schools within the county. Homeschool students are also eligible. Each entrant may submit one original short story. Stories must be previously up unpublished, including ones featured in online blogs or publications. No fan fiction based on existing books, movies, or other media is acceptable. Stories should be double-spaced in size 12 Times New Roman font with standard margins. Stories may be 5 to 10 pages, double-spaced, which means about 1,450 to 2,400 words. Please place the title of the story in the upper right-hand corner. Your name should not appear anywhere on the document. Please fill out the entry form completely and submit your story by 12 p.m. by Monday, April 20th, 2020. Entries must be submitted electronically. No paper submissions will be accepted. There is no cost to enter the contest. Entries that do not follow these rules may be disqualified. Good luck. Any students in grades 3 through 12 looking to join the Youth Orchestra of Bucks County, YOBC, can schedule a virtual audition this year. Open auditions will be hosted on April 25th and 26, 2020. All students must participate in their school instrumental music program. Students who are not taking private lessons are allowed to audition for YOBC. However, all students who are accepted are required to begin private lessons prior to registering for a membership. Again, any student interested in joining the Youth Orchestra of Bucks County should schedule a virtual audition for April 25th or 26th by visiting this website. Those are all the announcements we have for right now. Please remember to monitor your email and the district website for new information. You can also see our future videos by subscribing to our channel here. This has been a special report from Armstrong News Network.